stress, recovery, adaptation. We've all heard the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So naturally, if you are in a car wreck that doesn't actually kill you, but you end up a paraplegic, you're stronger? Obviously not. And you can think of numerous examples where this saying doesn't hold up. And yet, the underlying principle of this saying is actually the key to literally all of the success of our programming. It's the process we at Starting Strength like to call the Stress Recovery Adaptation Cycle. While the underlying physiology and all of the biochemical, hormonal, neurological, cellular signaling processes that make this happen certainly are complex, the process itself is pretty simple. You stress the organism enough to kick off a recovery response, and as a result of this recovery process, you will accumulate some type of adaptation. There are, of course, a few key details to fill in, but that's pretty much it. Stress, recovery, adaptation. Let's talk about each piece of this model in just a bit more detail. Stress. The amount of stress needs to be appropriate for the individual. For example, if I were to try and develop a luscious suntan, an hour outside would be inappropriate. <laughs> Similarly, if the stress is not significant enough, nothing will happen. Further, as the organism begins to develop a tolerance or adaptation to the stress, over time, the stress must increase. If you go to the gym and bench 225 every time, you will not develop the ability to bench more than 225 because you failed to drive the stress up. I know it seems counterintuitive, but keeping the weight constant and only adding weight when it feels easier is no way to drive this process along. So stress, not too little, not too much, will need to increase as the individual adapts. Recovery. Once the stress is applied, an appropriate amount of time and resources must be provided in order for your body to lay down the structures or mechanisms necessary to recover from that stress. Since we're talking about strength, this means you need to rest and eat your protein. Once your body has recovered from the initial stress, it will lay down the foundation for a tolerance to that stress, or said otherwise, an adaptation. The adaptation is ultimately the mechanism that is there to protect the individual. It is your body's way of preparing for an encounter with the same type of stress in the future. And therein lies one more principle of this model, specificity. The type of adaptation that is presented is specific to the type of stress applied to the system. For example, when you deadlift, you might get calluses on the palm of your hands, but not your face. If you're getting calluses on your face from deadlifting, you might want to have that checked out by one of our coaches. Seriously. So if you are not making progress in the gym, go back to this model and ask yourself a few questions. Is the stress appropriate? Not too much, not too little. Am I providing enough recovery resources? And is the adaptation I'm looking for specific to the stress being applied? And as always, if you need help with any of these things, ask us a question in the comments below or Click the link here to find out more about Starting Strength Online Coaching.